Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real, no ma'am. Cookies in the kitchen with me tonight. Um, I wanted to show y'all potato player, excuse me, football player potato balls. Um, this was a recipe that we did for the Eastern Guilford Wildcats football team for the eight or nine years that I helped with that. Um, different parents volunteered to do the cooking and serving and they love these and they are so easy and it's almost embarrassing how easy they are seriously i've got two cans of white potatoes that are sliced you can use the diced ones you can use the slices or you can use the whole ones and cut them in two or quarter them or whatever to make them go farther but i'm going to take i poured the juice off of two cans so that we can have these potatoes for um, our side tonight um, i'm just going to pour those into a this is a nine by nine bacon dish and I'm gonna spread them around. You can use any flavoring that you like as far as your dry season, whatever you want on it, okay? I'm gonna put just some dabs of butter. No, ma'am, this is not for you. Okay, and I'm gonna use, oh, there's a potato left in there. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, Fat Man and his food, sweet and spicy. Yeah, I've used it before. You can use it on pork, chicken, you can use it on beef, but I'm gonna use it in my potatoes tonight. And it's on Facebook, yeah, they've got a site, you can see it. I, I think I bought this at Kenyon's uh, uh, Steak Market in Medvin, I think so. Anyway. I like it, and you know what? If you don't know if you're gonna like it, take you just a little bit of it and pour it in your hand and lick your finger and see what it tastes like. And then you'll know. This has spicy and sweet, so I think it'd be great. It has garlic powder in it as well, but you could use rosemary on these, whatever you want to. This has paprika, hot cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, sugar, garlic powder, and other spices. That's what I'm using in my potatoes tonight. But like I said, you can use whatever your family likes. My family will love these. Okay, I'm gonna give that a little stir. Make sure we get enough spice in there. And then spread those pads of butter out. Cause we like some spices around here. They are used to me cooking with a lot of spices. Now I'm gonna to top mine with Tillamook sharp cheddar. You can top it with whatever cheese you like, but the sharp cheddar is good on this recipe. I'm gonna put this into a 400 degree oven. It usually takes 15 to 20 minutes for it to heat up and the cheese melt. And there's your side cookie. I mean, there's your side for whatever you're fixing, whatever meat you're fixing. Give it a try. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. See ya.